Welcome back, everybody. The Clear the Shelters clock, it's winding down all month long. We have been introducing you to pets from different shelters looking for a forever home. But Clear the Shelter is not just for cats and dogs. So tonight we're joined by Keith Gisser, the executive director of the Herps Alive Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit reptile rescue and education organization. Welcome in. Thanks normally, Laura us. can tell you this, I normally embrace with our guests here on Front Row. Tonight, not happening. Not a problem. Welcome not in. Who do you have with well, us? This is not Naya, and Naya is a corn snake. Naya, Naya yes. All right, what is a corn snake? Corn snakes are small, a constricting snake, native to the southeastern United States, but this animal is bred in captivity, of course, like all of our snakes are, and they make outstanding pets. They don't get very big, three and a half to four feet long. They're hypoallergenic. They can live in a small enclosure, so if you're in an apartment, they make a great pet, and you only got to feed them once a week. Once a week? That's correct. Wow, that fits into the Donovan budget. All right, tell me this. Uh, what is a, a little bit about your organization? So we are a nonprofit reptile rescue. We take in unwanted, neglected, abused reptiles. We also work with a lot of the larger shelters that are more dog and cat focused because they're not set up for reptiles. In fact, we got a call today from Fort Wayne. We've got a lizard, a Nile monitor coming in from Fort Wayne because we're the only reptile rescue in the region, really, who can work with those kind of animals. Keith, do you find sometimes maybe people you know, acquire a reptile, for instance, and maybe they shouldn't have, and they didn't know enough about it? A lot, of, I think it's true that people don't do their research, even with dogs and cats sometimes. Yeah, yeah I but, think you're right. But part of the difference is this snake is gonna live 20, maybe 25 or 30 years. Your dog is gonna live 12 to 15. So it is more of a commitment, I will say that much, and it is important to do your research. There's no question about that. Uh, the other thing is, because they're smaller, it's easier to keep a lot of them. So you do run into situations where somebody will have eight or 10, and if a young child loses interest, you know, you get a, a young child, a couple of snakes, mm -hmm. it's important to prepare right. them. What happens when they get into high school, right. they're doing sports, music, whatever. All right, Keith, uh, give us some information. How can we adopt? So this animal um, is available for adoption at the Herbs Alive Foundation. They can come into the rescue or they can email us. Um, they can also contact us through our Facebook page. Okay. And actually we're doing something special for the folks who are watching tonight. And Her normal adoption fee is $125. Okay. Mention this appearance on the show, and we're going to reduce that fee to ninety dollars uh, to help okay, people hopefully help get her into a home. Well, yeah. thank you very much. No problem. You're helping clear the shelter, absolutely, and hopefully you can too. All right, thanks for coming in thanks tonight. For